Hey friends, surprise! <laughs> if you couldn't already tell from the title of this video, I am pregnant again. Oh my God. I am completely overwhelmed with emotions and I really don't know where to begin. So let me just kind of start with the basics here. I am currently 17 weeks pregnant. I've been very fortunate again, not to have um, overwhelming nausea or vomiting. Um, my doctor's visits have been going great, ultrasounds look good, and so far everything has just been going really smooth. This pregnancy was a surprise for us. We had planned on trying for another child at the end of this year or maybe the beginning of next year, but obviously the universe had different plans for us. Matt was immediately excited when I told him the news. Um, on the other hand, just full transparency here, I felt so worried, so scared, terrified, um, not financially prepared for this, just not prepared in general. And I really hate that those were my first emotions. I want to be excited from the jump, um, but I think the reason I felt that way was because I had just barely got down this mothering thing and it really just threw off my mindset at that moment. I want to be crystal clear here. I am so happy that this is happening. I am fortunate enough to be able to bear children. This is a complete blessing and I'm so excited for Mateo, my son. He gets someone to play and grow up with. I'm excited for us as parents because we get to grow our family. I feel really excited for myself as well just because um, after the second child, I'm really gonna feel like superwoman and that I can accomplish anything. You learn so much from the first baby and prior to having Mateo, it was all about the fear of the unknown. I had no idea what to expect. Everything scared the hell out of me. And I know that every pregnancy and child is different, but I do feel a little bit of comfort knowing what to expect at least for the first year. However, Starting next year, I will have two children under the age of two and that kind of scares me. We are not around any family, so my husband and I, we depend on each other for that relief. Um, the one thing that keeps me motivated and lifts my spirits is thinking about my mother who um, moved here to this country from Jamaica and all she had was my father and she raised five children. She is strong. She is superwoman. I admire her and she was effortless throughout it somehow. <laughs> I feel like I'm always falling apart, but she did such a great job. I just really um, use that as my motivation. I also think so much about single mothers that do not have the physical or emotional or financial support that they need, I literally bow down to you because you guys are so strong. And that's kind of what I've been using as my motivation to tell myself, you can do this, you can do this, you will get through this. This video isn't gonna be super long. I just wanted to share this news with you. We have so many changes coming our way. We need to move into a bigger apartment because it's way too small in here. Um, I need to think about the future of this channel and how I'm going to juggle this work-life balance and I just have to mentally prepare for another child. I would love to hear from all of the mothers out there with multiple children. What was it like going from one to two kids or more? And what tips do you have for me for juggling multiple children? How do you stay sane while two children are crying at the same time? And how do you put aside time for yourself? I love it when you all engage with me down below in the comments, so please spill your secrets down below. Not only will you be helping me, but you'll also help some mothers-to-be that maybe have some of these same feelings. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!